So, with the new year rolling in, I thought we'd dive into one of my absolute favorite appetizers. It's super easy, crazy delicious, and you won't believe how fast it is to whip it up. First, let's clean our prawns. So, my prawns are mostly good to go, but you know, better safe than sorry. Give them a quick once over to make sure they're squeaky clean. Peel off the outer shell, ditch that tail bits, and yeah, even that tiny pointy tail can go. Just keep an eye out for those sneaky sharp ends. We don't want any finger casualties here. Just make sure your bows don't wander off. So, with the second prawn, you can see here, it still has its little poop sack track. These guys can be slippery, as you can see. We want to remove that poop sack. Get in there gently with your fingers. Once you've got a hold of that intestine, give it a good tug and say goodbye to the uninvited guest. After that, just peel the rest of the prawn like we did with the first one. Now peel and clean the rest of the prawns and place them on a plate. Lay down a couple of paper towels, scatter your prawns evenly on top and cover them with a little bit more paper towels. Give them a good thorough dry. Once they're all dry and looking fancy, place them on a clean dry plate. Roll out your puff pastry sheet and with a knife or a pizza cutter, slice 10 even strips of about 2 cm thickness. If you're feeling precise, a ruler can be handy to keep those lines straight, but honestly, eyeballing it, it works just fine. No one's going to notice if the strips are a bit wobbly. Imperfection just adds character. Time to give those prawns a blanket. While doing this, let's preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Grab a puff pastry strip and your prawn, then start wrapping it gently. Begin at the top and glide down to the tail. If you want an easy wrap, just spin your prawn and keep the strip steady. Now do the same with all the prawns until they're all nice and wrapped up. On a baking sheet, lay down a parchment paper. Spread your prawns on it evenly in your preferred direction. Give them a good brush with an egg wash, which is made out of a beaten egg and a tiny pinch of salt. Right before you put them in the oven, sprinkle over toasted sesame seeds. Place your prawns into the oven for about 15 minutes. The pastry room will come nice and golden brown and the prawns will cook just to the right temperature. As we wait for everything to bake, let's prepare our dipping sauce. To a bowl, add 1 tablespoon of sour cream, 1 tablespoon of mayo, 1.5 tablespoons of ketchup, a pinch of cayenne pepper, and a tiny teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Mix everything well and give it a taste to see if they are liking. Once your prawns are baked, transfer them to a serving plate. They can be eaten warm or cold, so you can even make them in advance if you wish. This concludes our first video of this year. I hope you have enjoyed it. Do leave a like and comment down below the video. Subscribe to my channel for more and see you next week. Bye bye!